Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October 27th. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> I thought I'd hop on and do an episode real fast to share with you my finished objects. I have two of those and some whips and some happy mail and some bags. <laughs> and then uh, that's it for today. It's, it's going to be quick if I don't blab. <laughs> but uh, Devin's in there playing guitar. You might be able to hear it a little bit in the background. And um, yeah, Jesse's at my mom's. He went to my mom's just a little while ago. He wanted to go spend time with Granny and Paul. So he's there. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it. And I'm I might move a lot because I'm sitting on my knees and I know my feet are gonna fall asleep. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and get down on my butt real quick. <laughs> okay, I think the camera's a little crooked, but I can't help it. My tripod is broken and it's gonna be a while before I get another one because I like to use things until they're completely broken. <laughs> but uh, I got stuff piled up everywhere, so just ignore it. But my finished objects, um, this one here was the one Petra from Petra's Happy Place. I'll link that below. Um, Mentioned in one of her videos recently about like uh, people with crafting OC, uh, not OCD, ADD, where you start a bunch of whips and then you never really finish one. Well, I watched her video about that and <laughs> it made me realize that I'm one of those people. So I, uh, she said to get your whip that was the most done and finish it. So I went ahead and did that last week. I did that the day that she put that video out. I can't remember what day that was on, but it was last week sometime. And uh, that day, I, I grabbed this whip out of my um, my bag that's behind you guys. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to do this. So I did it. And it is a Halloween bag. I don't have the book. Let me see if I have the book. Okay, I got it. It is a Halloween uh, trick-or-treat bag out of this book. This was gifted to me by my friend Brittany at Wool Makes. I will also link her channel below. Uh, it's, it's Annie's Spooktacular Crochet. 2020 <laughs> got a lot of cute patterns i actually have this made from a few years ago it's sitting over here by my tv and uh, there's so many things in here i want to make and i will work on that over the years probably i really like this blanket but anyways <laughs> the pattern that i made i'll open right to it is this uh Frank it, frankenstein's monster uh trigger trick bag there's also a cat one that both the patterns are in there so i made it you've guys seen it um in whip form but here it is finished <laughs> He has eyebrows and that one's kind of doing its own thing, but it's okay. So he's done. I think he's so cute. And I was going to line it, but I'm, I'm probably not going to get around to that now. <laughs> since Halloween is like five minutes away, I think. <laughs> and Jesse's been using another uh, thing that we have. But he'll be all ready for next year. I think he's so cute. He's made it in two pieces. A panel, a front panel and a back panel. And then... Um, Got a hair on it <laughs> and then all his facial features are separate his mouth his cheeks his nose his eyes his eyebrows the hair is uh crocheted on there the ears are crocheted onto the bag uh the green part is crocheted onto the back of the bag the purple part is crocheted onto the front and then when you stitch it together you just go around them and that's why it's got like a green uh outside but yeah it was super quick and easy i probably could have got it done a lot sooner but i just started it and then just set it down and never went back to it so petra did um she got me motivated to um, get it done, <laughs> and I got it done. I probably will uh, line it with fabric between now and next Halloween, and Jesse can use it if he wants, or I can just use it as my own bag, because a lot of times when you're a parent with a younger kid and you're tr taking them trick-or-treating, the parent gets candy too. A lot of the, especially I've noticed older um, men and women, they give the parents candy too, and they, they say stuff like, oh, you deserve this and stuff, so it's, it's always fun, so this might be my candy bag. <laughs> But I love it. I think it's super cute. Might make the cat one eventually. But I absolutely adore Frankenstein's monster. I don't know why. It's just always been one of my favorite characters. I have that thing over there. This now. My Halloween blanket has some on there. And I have a... What are they called? A ragdoll of one made. And I also have a really cool vase that I got at the thrift store of his head. And I just always love that character. It's just one of my favorite Halloween characters. <laughs> and um, I think I like the colors too and all that. So he's super cute. But it is in this book. Uh, I couldn't find it online. I found it on Ravelry, but the Ravelry link links to this book. <laughs> so I think you have to purchase this book to uh, get it. I will link below the Amazon link to it. And I'm sure there's some other places. You could probably get it on Annie's website um, that sells it too. But it was gifted to me. So I love this book. I'm going to keep this forever. <laughs> I'm going to try to like make all kinds of things out of this. That's my Frankenstein. He's made with all red heart yarn. It's a uh, spring green. Uh, amethyst is the purple, black and white. That's everything, right? Yeah, that's all of it. And it was all scrap balls that I used to make him. I used the most of green. It was probably a skein, 
close to a skein altogether, but I used like three different scrap balls that I had. Uh, the handles are separate too, by the way. You crochet them each separate and then sew them onto the bag. Uh, I'm sure this would hold candy, but I wouldn't put a ton of stuff in there. And the reason I wanted to line it is because I, I, I would figure that um, the suckers and stuff would poke through, which isn't a big deal, but you know, I just line it. Just be nice to line it. Okay, nothing about that bag. <laughs> Throw that in there. My next finished object is also out of a book that was also gifted to me. <laughs> it was this book, Emma Grooming Monsters, and I'll link this below too. The Amazon link to it is below. Um, I made the Cotton Candy Monster. Let me find it. Here it is. Its name is BB. The Cotton Candy Monster. This little furry monster with the horns. <laughs> Here's another picture, a bigger picture of its body. Super cute. I didn't have the same kind of um, furry yarn, so I used a Karen Latte cake that was also gifted to me recently. Uh, I think the, I can't remember what the colorway of the yarn is, and I don't have the ball band anymore. It was something scented. But here he is. <laughs> his, his teeth is crooked, and I was so disappointed that I didn't put the eyes in the right place. That should be shifted over, but Devin said that it looks cute that way because he's a monster. He's supposed to be weird looking. But I made his horns out of red heart um, buff, and his eyes and teeth are made out of red heart white and um, safety eyes. His whole body and his tail is made out of um, the Karen latte cake. Something scented. I can't remember what it scented. Ro it wasn't rose scented, I don't think. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, I think it's cute. His tail is already stretched out because Jesse's been using it as a wrecking ball. That's what he says. And uh, I told him he couldn't play with it until I get it showed on the camera and then he can have it. So he's excited about having it after you guys see it. But uh, I think he's cute, but he's also kind of weird looking. He doesn't look as cute as the picture. <laughs> it looks a little bit creepier. But I think he's cute. He reminds me of like, the old puppets in the old um, like Henson uh, movies and stuff. He just reminds me of that. <laughs> but he's cute and Jesse really likes him. He was playing with him all day yesterday before I put the eyes and teeth and horns on it. It was just the body and the tail and he was going around swacking stuff with it and uh, that's why it's tail is like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's super stretched out from where he was slinging it around. But uh, I think it turned out cute. It was pretty quick too. I made it, I probably could have made it in a day if I had just worked on it in a day. But I, uh, I made the body first and let it set for a while and then I made the tail the ball and the actual tail and then I went back yesterday and uh, while watching an episode of um, Unsolved Mysteries I made the teeth and eyes and horns and uh, sewed them together and here he is he's cute <laughs> but he's Jesse's now because I think he's kind of creepy I don't want him sitting around where I can see him all the time he's creepy but uh, yeah I think he's cute and that's that one there's another monster I kind of want to there's two that I like in here that I want to make I don't know when I will get around to making them. And they're right here beside each other. The first one is Zack the Candy Monster. He's one of the cover ones. And the second one I think is super cute. Is Scaredy Eddie and his Teddy. He's cute. He reminds me of the, on the old movie, um, The Page Master. He reminds me of the horror book. That's always, that's scared of everything. That's how that reminds me of. So, I might work on those eventually. But for now, I think I'm done with monsters just because this one's weird. <laughs> but he's cute. Jesse likes him. So, I'm happy that he likes him. The tail was supposed to be the same color as the horns. But uh, I wanted to make it furry. I thought it would be cute. Just all furry. And I did make the, uh, the ball on the tail. I used two pieces of yarn. Because if I just used uh, one strand of yarn, it would have been a lot smaller. And I wanted it to be big and fluffy like the picture. But this yarn isn't real fluffy furry yarn so I just doubled up the yarn and held it double and uh, went from there yeah so this is a worsted weight yarn actually I think this is considered a bulky because of the fur but it's like the size of a worsted weight and I used an elf hook for the whole thing the pattern calls for um I think DK weight or maybe sport weight really small yarn and a, like a B hook and that ain't happening I don't I don't like working with little yarn and little hooks but uh there's, there he is. He's cute. <laughs> so that's my two finished objects this week. I do have two whips, but one of them I haven't worked on at all. And here, this is my angel. Last time I showed it to you guys, it was just the, that 
that's not supposed to be in there. That's the video games. <laughs> uh, just the head without anything on it. And I still haven't worked on it. It's still exactly where it was last week. I haven't even picked it up <laughs> until just now. But that is the, um, what's it called? Annie the Angel. And I will link that below if you're interested in checking it out. Uh, it is cute. I just haven't gotten around to working on it. I was working on that monster and didn't even think about that. But I did start a new whip yesterday using some yarn that I got gifted to me. I have two balls of each of this. And these are um, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. This one's called Sea Coral. Coral? Coral? Coral. And this one is called a rock name that I can't say. Anthracite? <laughs> I don't know. It's a rock name. I'm not good at pronouncing stuff like that. And I'm making the six day kid blanket, which was pretty big a few years ago and it's still pretty popular. It's a really quick pattern. It's like a um, like a chevron pattern, a ripple pattern. But I'm making it larger than the pattern. You know, she has it on there, um, how you can do it different sizes. And I picked the size that would be like an adult throw. I think it's gonna be 40 inches by 48 inches. And so I started it, here it is. <laughs> I started with the coral color. And I did a whole repeat in coral, and then I'm going to switch to gray and do a whole repeat in gray, and then just keep doing that. So, here it is up close. I think it's really pretty, and it's a really easy pattern. You know, once you get going, I think after a few more rounds, I'll have it, like, in my brain, and I can just do it without uh, having to look at the pattern. But I did print it out because I really like it, and I already know that I might want to make more in the future. So, I went ahead and printed it out so I could put it in my binder. And uh, it's by Betty McNitt and it's a free pattern she has on her website how to calculate um how much yarn you need and she has it in all different sizes she has a youtube video about it too uh from like super fine yarn all the way up to super bulky yarn it's really cool i watched the video because i was trying to figure out if i had enough yarn to make a, a larger size and i think i do the worst case scenario i might have to buy some more but um i'm not too worried about it so i did i chained 173 to start with to make it the larger size and it's it's pretty big I just hope I have enough yarn to make it this way. But I do have two full balls of each of these. And um, if I run out of yarn, because it's been, you know, I know that's two full balls, I should be able to guesstimate how much more I would need to buy. But I think I'm good. I'm also using an eye hook, which is what, um, I went on the Ravelry project page where all the people who made this blanket made their projects. And I was looking at people who made the size that I want to make and seeing what hook they used. And most of them used an eye hook. So I did decide to go ahead and use an eye hook. So uh, I think it's gonna be pretty. I hope it, that it is pretty. <laughs> and I hope I have enough yarn to finish it. If, because I'm kind of on a spending freeze. We're going ham right now, saving money for our house down payment, hopefully next year. So uh, I'm trying not to spend like any extra money any more than necessary. So uh, if I run out of yarn, that might just have to go in like a, a box until uh, we get our house and then I can order some yarn and get it done. But yeah, so that's all of my um, whips and foes. And all the links will be down below for all of those. Now I'm going to show you some bags that are in the shop. And then I'm going to show you a pile of Happy Mail I have right here. And uh, then that'll be it. But I do have some bags left in the shop. I have um, four of the large zipper bags. There will be more of these uh, in about a week and a half. i got to go tomorrow to Joann's to buy some uh, materials. i got to buy some fabric and some batting and some just thread and stuff um, to make more bags. I'm going to be making more of these large zipper bags. I'm going to be making... Um, zipper and notion pouches and the large totes with large long handles there's gonna be some of those um, I'm gonna say in about a week and a half let's see here what next week is the first week in November maybe by next weekend uh, not Halloween weekend but the one after that uh, maybe by then <laughs> we'll see I'll make a video announcing it but these are the ones that are still in the shop I have one print of the chickens and it's a, a large zipper bag with a boxed bottom and a handle on the side so they're just zipper bags that one's right on the inside <laughs> and they're pretty big i can get big um yarns in here and i had a project in one to show you guys a few videos ago i had a shawl project in there it was my just feel festive shawl and uh it's yarn and everything all fit in there so it's chickens it's chickens and roosters and then there's one of this print which is like a christmas um I have, I have it called Toyland because it's Santa with a bunch of toys. Same size. And then there's one of the Christmas dogs in the shop. And the last of that kind of bags in the shop is this one. And it's like a vintage Christmas shopping print. Really cute. 
I love any of these prints that look vintage. I just think they're cute. <laughs> and then there are some uh, drawstring bags left in the shop that I went ahead and pulled out. I thought I would show you guys. And these are all currently on sale. All the drawstring bags are 25% off. Okay, so there are two camouflage prints, just drawstring bags. There is one of this blue jean teddy bear. I think there's three yeah there's three of this print that's uh like little diamonds with leaves in them <laughs> leaves there's one of these fish print this is really bright and pretty really cool looking i think really cool fabric i still have a ton of that fabric left <laughs> and there are three of these red chevron bags it's not quite that bright it's a little bit um duller red it's just really bright because of the lighting <laughs> There are three of this uh, vintage clown print. I think this is actually a cool print. If I can pick it up. What's happening? Okay. It's like a vintage clown, circus clowns. I think that's really cool. <laughs> and then there are two of this teddy bear print. It's got like teddy bears with sports stuff. Um, footballs and baseball bat and stuff like that. Super cute. And there's also one of the little bags left. Um, just these shapes <laughs> these oval shapes but those are all the bags that are currently in the shop and like i said in about a week and a half um there'll be a bunch of new bags in the shop Ooh. i've only got a few more updates uh left let's see here i'm gonna say i probably got three or four updates left this year and then i'm gonna take a break in december um that I, that I think of. I always say that every year and then I end up making some closer to Christmas because I like to earn a little bit more extra money to spend for Christmas. You know, all the good deals going around and I like buying gifts for people. But uh, yeah, so now I got some Happy Mail. Um, first off, uh, my friend Amber over at Uwal Crochet. I'll link her below too. I'll try to remember like all these people below. She showed some um, stuff that she got in one of her lots of stuff that she buys to resell. And she asked if um, I wanted any of it, and I was like, yes. So I did end up trading her for this stuff. I traded her some mailers that I accidentally ordered in the wrong size, but it was good for her because she sends out a lot of stitch markers and jewelry, little things, because they were really little. And um, so she, I traded her those for these. So it's Halloween table runners. <laughs> of course I wanted them. But this one has, like, witch legs on it on either side. This is super cute. This is gonna be so cute. I can already imagine like in our house when we get it next year. Next Halloween, this can be on our kitchen table and the other one can be put on something that's in the living room because the way that it is set up is, it goes on the front of the table. Oh, that one also has two hand towels that match it. So they're, they got the witch's feet too. Super cute little hand towels. But this one's really loud. It's going to jingle. But this would be good on the front of a table. And I thought even if I were to do like a craft fair next October, assuming COVID isn't around, <laughs> um, it would be cute on the front of the table because it's the kind that hangs off the front of a table. Ooh, that's, that's it. <laughs> it's hard to hold up. But it has these long like pennants that have jingle bells on them at the bottom. But this is the kind that would hang off the front of the table to make the, you know, the front of the table look pretty. Like, I would imagine at, like, a Halloween party, it would be the table with the snacks and stuff on it. But I thought it would be cute if I did a craft fair around Halloween to have it on the table and then, like, my sign over top of this so that this is poking out from behind it. It would be really cute and festive. But, um, also, it would be adorable in my house, and I plan on putting it somewhere <laughs> next Halloween. Hopefully, it will be in a new house by then, but, uh, I'll find somewhere to put it. It's really loud and jingly and all of that. <laughs> Okay, and she also sent me this. She got two of these, so she kept one for herself, and she sent me one. Hers is got a different print on it. It's like a owls and stuff, but I don't like owls. Owls freak me out. <laughs> I've always been like afraid of owls. I don't know why, but uh, it's like a nightgown, night shirt. It's long and it's uh, Halloween print, which is adorable. I will probably be wearing that a lot <laughs> the next week, uh, and I'm gonna wear that even when it's not Halloween because that's how I am. And then I got two cards, and I also got another thing for my sister. But I got one card from Carrie Penny, and I, I totally ripped the envelope because I was standing in line <laughs> at the post office waiting until you pick up a package, and I was just tearing into my mail, and I was trying to get in here, and I couldn't, so I just kind of ripped it. But it's from Carrie Penny, which is a happy, crafty homemaker, and I'll link her below too. 
she hand makes her cards and this is adorable this is so cute look at it and it's got my man frankie up here frankenstein's monster and it says i want candy and it's got those little jewel thingies and his little the pumpkin's eyes are little jewels and on the back it says girls night out instead of girls night out and it's got some washi and then on the inside it's got um the card it says trick or treat smell my feet give me something good to eat happy halloween xoxo carrie penny and it's got some little little flaggy things so cute this is gonna go on my little mantle with all my other halloween cards i got three four i feel like i had another one it might have fell a lot of times when i put my blanket on my couch the wind blows them off I think I have five Halloween cards, which is cool because last year I only got like one, I think. So, woo! And I'm gonna keep these forever. I keep, I have all the cards and letters, anything like that that people sent me since I started YouTube and people started sending me mail um, in a tote in my bedroom. <laughs> and I like to pull it out every now and then and just look at it all because it's just, it's cool to, to know that people think about you. Anyways, the next uh, letter I got was from Marlo in, what state is MI? Is that Michigan? Whatever state MI is, I always forget. But this is like a thanking of you card, so it's really cute. Ooh, it's got a bunny on it and a long saying. I'm not gonna read that. That's like I read it aloud. But it's just basically a thanking of you card. So I did want you to, you to know that I got it and I do appreciate it. So thank you so much for sending it to me. It's really pretty. Look at that little bunny. Wow, it's blown out. <laughs> it's the afternoon. Can you see that? It's 4.30 and so the sun is like shining a lot. The last thing that I got in the mail today, I didn't know it was coming. It's from my sister. She didn't tell me it was coming. Um, she, If you watched all my videos lately, you'll know that I recently had some miscarriages. And so she sent me a shirt uh, that she ordered, I guess. I don't know if you can read it. But it's got like bleach spots on it. It's actually really big. <laughs> um, I feel like it's a man's sizing because it's it says it's extra large. But it's really big. But it's cute and I'll, i can i'm a sewer so i'm going to try to um take the seams in i don't know what that's called <laughs> uh, to make it fit me better but it's really nice and pretty and i do appreciate it and i haven't actually told her i got it yet i need to message her <laughs> in a minute and let her know that i did get this and to thank her for it. it's really soft too but it's got like bleach spots all over it and um i'll have to ask her because I, I didn't even pay attention <laughs> it's still in the car the package but um if I can figure out who she bought it from, I will link it below in case you want to. And if you couldn't read it, I'll read it out to you. It says, we remember the babies born sleeping, those we carried but never held, those we held but could not take home, and those who came home but could not stay. Pregnancy and infant loss awareness, which is October, which is a lot of women's awareness months, I've learned. It's breast cancer, domestic violence, pregnancy and infant loss, it's also, I think it is esophageal cancer, which is what my dad died of. It was something else too. Something to do with electricity, I found out the other day. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, there's only so many months, so they have to cram stuff all together. But anyways, I think that's everything. That's another chicken bag that actually sold. <laughs> I gotta put it in there to get processed. I uh, pulled it out of my stack, but uh, I still got, I dropped off a bunch of packages um, today this morning and then I got some more I ran out of thank you cards so I had to run to the store to buy some more so I'm going to finish packaging them all up tonight and drop them off in the morning so if you've ordered any of the amigurumi from me or the bags they'll be they're, they're either out today or they'll be will be tomorrow morning <laughs> uh there's a few bags left in the shop and then I still have some amigurumis left um if you want to check out that video I put out yesterday about that and uh yeah I was surprised I didn't think that they would sell so quickly um I don't know, I was just shook <laughs> that so many people bought them. But it was exciting to get all the emails about people wanting them. And uh, my bag is almost empty now and it was super full um, when I started that video. I do have some more amigurumi that I want to put in the shop. Well, I don't guess they're amigurumis. It's the daffodils. I made earlier this year for the daff daffodil festival. All of these daffodils. Oop, it's all deformed. <laughs> But they're just uh, crochet daffodils in different colors, daffodil colors, uh, that I was going to hand out at the daffodil festival this March. But, you know, it got canceled because when everything happened big time. <laughs> um, and I was holding on to them because I thought maybe 
by next March, um, you know, things will be better, but it's not looking <laughs> like things are going to be too much different in the new year. I've had a few people ask uh, about them, so I'm going to put them in the Etsy shop and sell them for like four bucks, I guess. And I also have some little tiny star amigurumis. I don't know if I can find one. This is my bag of little amigurumis. Yeah, I have some little, the little stars that I made recently that I'm gonna, I got, I think it's six of them. I'm gonna put them in the shop too. Um, I don't know why I didn't put them in that video yesterday. I wasn't thinking. And uh, just try to get them sold and whatever doesn't sell, I'm just gonna donate because uh, we're, because we're planning on moving. We're, you know, we're materializing it, whatever that saying is. We're preparing for it. So we've been going through all of our stuff, donating a bunch of stuff, selling things we don't want. We rented a storage building to put stuff that we just don't need right now in. And uh, we're just trying to, you know, clean up the apartment and get ready to move next year because we're super hopeful. It's looking like we should be able to get a house in the spring of next year, uh, assuming nothing crazy happens. So I'm super excited about that. And Devin's excited. We're all excited. <laughs> and we just want to... Uh, get the ball rolling <laughs> we were we were talking to people about it today and uh just you know it's just crazy thinking that we're gonna, we're gonna be house owners <laughs> I feel I still feel like I'm like 12 I don't I don't feel like I should be an adult yet but um I am so I gotta do adult things <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I gotta get this video edited and up and I gotta figure out something to do for dinner tonight it's just me and Devin so it should be easy we'll probably do something super simple tonight and uh not gonna worry about it yeah so vlog tober will be over in a few days but November will have some sporadic vlogmas videos because Sunday, November 1st, I'm putting up my Christmas stuff. So um, I'll probably do like a, a video of that. And um, there'll be some random ones, random vlogs throughout November because of preparing for Christmas. And then I totally plan on doing vlogmas when Christmas rolls or December rolls around. So um, yeah, I know a lot of people don't like the vlogs, but also a lot of people do. So I'm gonna keep doing them because I like doing them. <laughs> Um, you know, it's my channel. I put out whatever I want and people either watch it or they don't. I don't, I don't really care because <laughs> I got, I got the loyal people who uh, watch everything. So I'm happy either way. It's fun. And I do stand, still plan on working on my other channel. I just keep forgetting to make videos for it, but, um, I'll do that eventually. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. But I'm going to hop off here because it's been 30 minutes and I didn't think it was going to be this long, but I talk a lot, but I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. Hopefully, um, I have to go to Joanne's, so I'll probably film some of that if I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.